experimentation with the Imagination Station. We have Dan here and he is going to talk about a ferrofluid and a demonstration along with that. That's correct. I brought some ferrofluid. Now I'm going to get suited up here because yep, you say that you say this is kind of messy, right? Go ahead and get suited up here. We got a lab coat, some safety glasses and gloves for you. Um, and we brought some ferrofluid, which is this amazing magnetic fluid. So it's got millions and millions of tiny nano sized magnetic particles inside. All right. And it's kind of like encased in like an oily liquid, which is pretty cool. And to demonstrate what we can do with it. I brought a very super strong magnet. Okay. Okay, this is a neodymia magnet. This is the strongest permanent magnet you can buy. Wow. So it's very, very strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this underneath our bowl here. All right, and to manipulate it, I brought this like metal bolt. So as, I'm gonna go ahead and put this bolt right there Woo. on my bowl there. And you can see it's very, very strong. All right, and Chris, you, you ready to go? Ready to go. All right, so why don't you go ahead and take, this is our ferrofluid, a pipette, and start to squirt some of our ferrofluid on to our bolt there. Okay, right, right onto the bolt? Right onto the bolt, because we magnetized that bolt with our okay. neodymium magnet. Uh, go ahead, I'm right gonna... on top. There you go. I'm gonna get some here. And if you want, you can keep going here. We'll keep putting some on. And you can see some really interesting things really? happening on our bolts right here. As we add more and more ferrofluid, the tiny particles that are magnetic line up with the magnetic field. And that's why you get these really cool spikes that are happening. And uh, it's like spinning. Is it aligning itself on the magnetic fields around the bolt? Yep, it's aligning itself and it's actually traveling down that like spiral because the, the fluid really wants to get to that magnet. It's a really strong magnet. It's, so it's, it's getting it's pulled down, pull down to by the magnet there. If you look at the bottom of the bolt, you can see even bigger spikes forming where it's lining up with that magnetic field. So if you've seen like a, uh, a magnet with some iron filings and how the iron filings kind of make lines. Right. All right, so same type of thing. And I, I thought we would add, do something a little different. We're gonna add another one on top. Okay. And see if this changes what it looks like. Shall we? Let's right, do it. So let's go ahead and add it on there. All right, and let's keep adding some ferrofluid on there. On top of the new magnet? On top of the new magnet. We'll see what happens. For the new bolt. And it looks like we got a pretty cool spiral formation that's happening. Very neat stuff. And I can even take the fluid like this, and if I squirt it out on the side, the magnet is so strong, it'll actually pull it. Pulls the fluid toward the, fluid the magnet. Right towards the magnet, which is pretty amazing. And this was invented by uh, Steve Pappel okay. uh, from NASA to actually use in space. And it's used in all sorts of different applications like computer hard drives, um, in different machinery as lubrication. Okay. Now, if we take, if we get rid of our bolts here, and get rid of this one, we can see that once I remove the magnet, or once I remove the bolt from the magnet, all right, all of the- It's just a goopy, it looks, like, it looks like oil. Yep, it looks like kind of like crude oil. And I've got all of the ferro fluid right here in the middle, and I can actually <gasps> touch it like that. So you can put that down. It looks like a, like a jellyfish. Yeah, go ahead and try and touch it. What does it feel like? It kind of feels like a jellyfish too. Right, it's kind of like this like gel. And then you can see it still is lining up with a magnetism on the, from the magnetic field. And if I, if I hold this down real quick and slide away the magnet. Oh. The turns back into a liquid, which is pretty cool. And I put the magnet back on, boom back into that And I gel. assume that if we continue with the, f uh, this would just allow that to grow in size? Yep, it would, just, it would just accumulate and create this kind of dome. It's like a round shape, because the magnetic field spreads out in all directions. It certainly does. Dan, what's going on with you guys at the Imagination Station? Well, November is a busy time. We've got all kinds of things. We've got Mythbusters, the explosive exhibition. We've got tabletop science coming up for Thanksgiving. Um, and National Chemistry Week is coming up. So lots of, lots of cool stuff, stuff going on with you guys. All right, we appreciate your time and coming by and sharing some science with us. No Stay problem. with us. We are back in just a moment.